what we're saying, Callum. <laughs> we want all the safety we can because the, the chances of me crashing are... <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog. Today we are um, going down to collect the kick car. So if you haven't seen before um, on the previous episode, I'll put a little uh, link to that now on the thing where we started stripping the super bike to get the engine and the electronics and stuff out of it. So now we're going down to MK uh, kick cars, which is sort of Essex area to go pick the car up, uh, the bodywork up, the chassis, all that sort of main, main build parts. Um, but before we do that, we are just about, well, Callum's with me driving the van. He's just took his test and I am just about to take my test now. I haven't done one before, so I'm just currently reading the instructions. Which is... This vlog's going to basically be about that. Going down, collect the, collect the car. The guy in the thing, the reason we're taking this test is he's going to show us around the factory and stuff. Obviously, we'll still have to wear a mask and stuff. Um, but yeah, we're going to get a look around the, the cars that they build. They obviously build them in the, in the place as well to, for clients or customers. If they don't want to build their own, but we want to build our own, well, I want to try and build it, which is, well, if you have seen the other vlog, it's not going to be easy given my uh, current mechanical skills. But we're going to give it a go because there's not really much else to do at this, this current time. But um, yeah, so we'll get a good look around, the, good look around the, the factory where they build the cars and hopefully see some, see some stuff. Callum! Right, so wash your hands, yeah. Find the swab in the sealed. To this S. So one, two. I think that's it. The uh, result back. Well, so Callum tells me that the C is what we're, <laughs> what we're after. So that means clear. And then, what's the T stand for then? It means curvy. T means COVID for some reason. We don't know why, but yeah, we're all clear, so we're ready to go. Later. Finally here after how many hours is it taking? Four hours. Four hours. We set off at yeah, it's quarter past nine now, so we've had an early start, but we'll just have to see what the guy wants to do about masks and um wants to see our tests and stuff obviously first. So we'll wait for him to come out and see what he has to say. Yeah, so obviously we've just got here. I am um, outside the door now. Callum's just gone in. Um, have a quick look around. Yeah, so we've obviously shown the guys the tests and stuff that were clear. The guys in there have taken tests and stuff as well to prove that they are clear in their environment. So that's why we're not wearing masks. If anybody's wondering, wondering what the situation is. But yeah, we're gonna. I'll have a quick look at the guys that are. The, so they obviously build the kits here as well for customers obviously that want a finished car. So I'll show you a few of them that are getting built, and then we're going to nip around to where we're collecting our car from. And then there's a few more finished cars and stuff in there. So you'll see sort of different levels, different levels of car and stuff. And one thing you'll notice that here they build. Uh, they don't just use one engine type. They can have a VTEC and R1 engine, Mazda engines. They do all different types of types of builds. So. That's probably one of the biggest things about it. There's quite a big variety in what you can do with the car and how you want to run it and stuff, so yeah. and stuff or they've been back in to get things changed and different things like that so obviously you've got the first one here has got a Mazda engine in uh, second one's got an R1 engine in uh, the one at the end has got a what looks like a brand new VTEC it's obviously just been 
it's obviously just been refurb but yeah so you can see all these are getting built or fully finished for customers that don't want to do it themselves uh, they'll just get sent out and handed over as finished cars some of them are just track cars some of them are built as fully road going cars so they've got i think there's one right here and it's got um gonna have wipers heater little top on it so you can see if it does rain you can pull it over an evidence so but yeah you could use it as a, a sort of an everyday everyday vehicle if you want probably not in the winter time though it wouldn't be much fun but yeah they can they can vary for for everything that you need saying Callum <laughs> this is our chassis yeah yeah, yeah. it's um yeah still quite a bit to do <laughs> looks good eh tanks in um with your pump. so what what so as it comes now say that again so you've got sorry you didn't realize you was on yeah video. No, yeah <laughs> right so this is the Indy RR chassis so it's a round tube chassis fully rose jointed um, we've got all the brake lines fitted in here, fuel lines fitted front to back, fuel tank is in, and that's got your pump for the Honda CBR already mounted under oh, here right on a billet here. adapter under there, already plumbed in. Um, you go in, you've got the billet pedal box in there as well, so that's all lined up with a bias adjustable on it as well. Paddle shift, it's a cow horn paddle shift, so up and down, so down for this and up yeah. on the paddles there. Um, your engine cradle is placed in, ready to bolt your yeah. engine in it. Drop in. Front and rear anti-roll bars are in, so these are blade type adjustable. You can do tension, change them, soft and hard. We've mocked them up for you, obviously once you put your shockers in. So all your radiator mounts are ready to bolt on, steering rack mounts, brake light switches are in, clutch cable adjusters in, etc. You're making this sound like I'm almost ready, but there's still quite a lot to do. It's <laughs> alright, should be finished. Lee? Come on, oh. man, you're okay bit. And obviously the new, the new cage which bolts in, um, I, the, the mounds are there, but these bosses will have to obviously come off for you to fit the bodywork, so we've left it loose. Yeah. Um, but it's all, the rose jointing section at the back here will just undo, and then you can drop the cage off and then pop it in um, accordingly. So yeah, floor pans all bonded and fitted in. Really, you're straight in with Lee, but the back end, diff in, drive shafts, rear uprights in, boom. You do, you do realise that I've got no mechanical skills whatsoever. <laughs> you said this Mortal like it's man! Gonna, it's going to be easy. The man that drives a 200 mile an hour and leans over and... Yeah, well uh, that's easy, all you have yeah, to do is to turn the throttle and pull yeah, the Yeah, no. Well this is... What's easy for you is easy for us I suppose, but it, it, it's pretty simple. You're putting nuts and bolts through holes and bolts in it on yeah. and putting panels on. So the rear end and that will come together. It's almost, you don't even know what you need to do because it's pretty obvious. You bolt the diff in, and you bolt the suspension on, and yeah. etc. So, I've actually on your one, um, all of the uh, wishbones which are over there, they've all got the rose joints already preset in them as well. So, perfect. Um, yeah, bolt the steering rack on, bolt the front wishbones on, you know, it's bolt your engine in, you know, boom, pop it in, etc. There's a little bit of things like you have to cut the hole for the exhaust system, that, but yeah. you know, this is not. Of man here, we're talking. It's, it's pretty, yeah. pretty, pretty simple stuff. Okay. So, but yeah, obviously the round tube you can see is vastly different, um, but there is a lot of triangulation in the chassis in the front and the rear end. Um, you know, it's all well braced in the back here. We put so the diff mounts are in. All of the diffs are braced. It's supported all in here. New diff bracing mounts. This is all triangulated. It's your rear anti roll bar as well. It's in, um, which will connect down to your. Yeah. bottom wishbone pickup point we've put all that in ready so yeah you kind of easy beautiful and there's a the square tube version you see but you can see they're slightly different um this is a bike engine one as well but slightly different this is for a booster so it is slightly different and this is the square tube version which yeah. is slightly heavier and, and the internal cage which yeah. is 50 mil but they're not fia approved it's a track day cage that's fia approved yeah we 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 want all the safety we can because the the chances of me crashing are yeah so you've got quite a high bar that's into this that's bold it's a 2016 engine yeah same, um, same okay it's 2016 engine um this is a bit this we only just picked this one it's a bit rough under here we've got to sort it out but that's the cbr engine in 
you modify the airbox gets turned up the other yeah. way in the throttle bodies you switch them yeah um, that's what you have to do because um, obviously the airbox normally mounts over here yeah um, uh, also this is a very pretty car. This oh, one. it's a nice colour, isn't it? Yeah, she's um, he's sky blue, but golf blue. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't got the orange brackets on it. I'm going to see. She's a pretty car. It's like uh, the golf colours, isn't it? The orange. It's a gold and, festival yeah. with the theme was. It hasn't yeah. had the stripe pack on it yet, but again, this is a. Uh, they're the same era of engine. This is an 09 though, but they're pretty much the same 09 up to 16. Yeah, it's 16. Anyway. So, yep. Um, sit. There we go. Oh yeah, that's nice. And that's the same. Um, so what electronics are these running? Standard ECUs. Yeah, so we're we're running Motec. Okay, but then you're. Callum said that, not me. I said, <laughs> I said, I said it'd fit perfect, but he thinks it's going to be a bit tight. Uh, it'd be a bit tight for me. P45. <laughs> That's us. Uh, car in a van. Everything in. Take it around the back so you can actually see. But yeah, big roll of bubble wrap and a load of boxes, and we're in. Everything, wheels, diff, all the body work. Panels down the side, seats are in, full for aim, everything. So that's us. Let's head back up north. Right, so just got back, long, long day driving. I'm a little bit tired, not gonna lie. Um, but I think I'm a little bit nervous with the amount of parts that there is in this box <laughs> or in these boxes. We took it all out, obviously, at the workshop and stuff, so it's ready to get started when I get back over. but yeah there's quite a lot of parts probably more than what i thought i thought it was maybe going to be a little bit more built up but at least all the the brake lines and all that sort of stuff's on so the safety aspect of it's a little bit safer um but yeah i think and to be honest the guys have built the like sort of each corner up so the brakes and all that sort of stuff is is like ready to bolt on so i think it's just like a big lego set really in it so I think once once we have a bit of an idea, the only thing he didn't say anything about instructions and I think I was a little bit too embarrassed to ask, but yeah, it's gonna be common sense. We'll be fine. <sighs> keep watching to, uh, yeah, keep watching to see what happens. But yeah, so next couple of vlogs will probably be a little bit more of this building and stuff and a little bit more outside stuff because obviously I'm back to getting back to my training and cycling and stuff like that as well. And very soon testing's about to start and everything. So. There's going to be quite a lot of stuff happening in the near future which is a little bit more exciting than what's been going on so keep posted if you haven't already please subscribe like comment all that jazz thanks bye bye